Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of uh, March the 27th through to April the 2nd. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have the Magician in the upright, followed then by the Queen of Cups. Next, we have Major Arcana, the King of Cups, followed then by the Seven of Wands in the upright, and lastly, the Three of Pentacles are in the upright position. So this week, Cancer, it looks like you're going to be in full manifestation mode, uh, feeling confident about something, and you are trying to bring something into existence. As above, so below. What are you manifesting? Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. And let us know what's going on here. But it looks like there's something you want to bring about in your life at this time for some of you. Perhaps it's a small manifestation for others of you. It's a major manifestation. But whatever it is, you're feeling quite confident about it. We all have the ability, we all possess the ability to manifest things in our lives. Um, how we go about it, it um, and how fast it will unfold generally depends upon how much focus we put on it and how confident we are in it. So it looks like this week you will be very focused and very confident. Right at the beginning of the week, the Queen of Cups is here in the upright position. Uh, it is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water, energy, cancer like yourself, Scorpio, Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. There could be another water sign in your midst or that is playing a pivotal role this week in your life, Cancer. But this is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating you are on the right path with your emotions. The Queen of Cups knows how to process emotions, knows how to deal with emotions in a mature manner. So this could be you being compassionate, caring and understanding with uh, another in your life. This could be a close uh, person to you, it could be your spouse, it could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or a good friend, a family member, that you are showing great compassion for that person. You could be the, the shoulder to cry on. This could you know, be somebody in your family perhaps is coming to you with emotional matters and you will definitely be leading them in the right direction. King of Cups, now you coming up again in your own reading in the upright position. You are definitely on the right path with your emotional progress right now. The King of Cups, very much like the counterpart, the Queen of Cups, a good person to talk to. Sometimes the King and Queen of Cups can represent as a vocation. This could be a doctor, this that someone who has great compassion towards your situation or something you or a family member or a friend is facing. Uh, this could be representative of a counselor, of a, a doctor or somebody like that. But when you have the royal couple come up like this in the reading, the King and Queen of of um, cups here. It can be representative of a couple things. It could be, you know, showing your uh, feminine and masculine side in terms of emotions equally, or it could be about an actual couple. The king and queen of cups can represent that if there is um, any problems in a relationship, it can be worked through and worked out quite nicely. Now, this could be any kind of relationship. It could be a family relationship, a friendship, or a spousal relationship. But whatever it is, is that the emotion is going to be, that emotional connection is going to be the thing that saves the day. It was very remnants of last week's reading for you, uh, Cancer. Cancer, it was last year, or sorry, last week, it was about you know, mixing the intellectual and the emotional. This week, it just seems to be about the emotions will be right on target. Whomever you are dealing with, like I said, whether it's a friend, a family member, or a spouse, this is a connection that can only grow stronger with the emotions here. So just keep it on that emotional level. Keep showing that compassion, that understanding, because that's what, especially if um, yourself or somebody in your family, I don't think it's you. I think it's somebody else that you're dealing with could be going through a difficult time and your compassion and your maturity in emotion will definitely aid them and help them in some way. It's it's interesting how it's very similar. It's almost like a continuation of last week's uh, read. 
Moving towards the weekend, we have the seven of wands in the upright position. It's a little bit of defensive energy. Now this could be coming from you or somebody you're dealing with. The seven of wands is where somebody feels on guard, feels attacked. Now this could be, this, whoever this is, is in protect, protective mode. Now this could definitely be you because... You know, the King and Queen of Cups are definitely very protective. This could be you uh, trying to protect someone else because oftentimes the Seven of Wands represents protecting someone else as well as protecting ourselves, our decisions, waiting for that other shoe to drop, already expecting to get attacked for our beliefs, our, our um, choices, our decisions, so forth. But it's not necessarily going to happen. It's just, it's kind of like with the Nine of Wands. It doesn't mean that you will be attacked. It just means you're ready for it or you're expecting it in some way. Now, I, I feel it, it's protective mode towards somebody else because this could even be perhaps uh, cancer for some of you. Maybe this is your parents. Your parents are being protective of you or someone who's close to you. Maybe your child, just like their grandchild or something. Um, yeah, interesting. Or somebody could be um, going to counseling, maybe. And perhaps if it's you, maybe you're feeling a little bit defensive if people find out that you've been seeking counsel or what have you. Last card we have is the Three of Pentacles in the upright position. This is a card that represents cooperation on everyone's part. This is where everybody kind of jumps in and helps uh, to accomplish something. This is about being on the same page. Uh, kudos to the other people because they're putting in just as much effort as you are. And there's a lot of cooperation where everybody just agrees let's get this done so this really good card for those of you who just started a new job perhaps because this could be you're working in a team environment where um, everyone's on the same level and uh, things are going really well you want you always want cooperation when it comes to pretty much anything <laughs> cooperation in the home is good cooperation at work and cooperation in your own uh, business with, with um, partners that kind of stuff so it's really, really good. It's an interesting reading. I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section to let me know what's going on. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next week. Take care. Much love.